Even as early as now, we have our apprehensions. This can only be avoided if we have a good and strong educational foundation to equip us as we go forward. The things that can help lessen these anxieties and will assure us of our generation's future lie on our parents' sustenance and wise judgment. I say that sustenance is important because it helps, it helps us achieve and acquire things with values. High quality, or what we call de calidad de educación, doesn't come for free. It can be attained with a price. However, once in possession, this de calidad can assure us of a better life, a life of contentment, happiness, and a path of gold at the end of the rainbow. The wise judgment of our parents is likewise important in leading us to reach our goal in life because it can either make or break our faith and our future. Their guidance is crucial, especially in their choice of quality education for us. The choice of school that gives high quality or de calidad na education is the foundation in building a strong weapon or talisman to meet the different challenges and trials in life, to serve through the angry waves of this modern society that will try to overpower and weaken our aspirations and dreams. We have to prepare the right way through a quality or de calidad na education, which can only be acquired through a high standard school that will help us build bridges and highways to reach our goals, dreams, and ambitions, to become better persons and citizens of this country. A person in the heart for service and not a person who is only after the reward. A person with empathy for humanity and not one who is blinded by materialism. A person who possesses not only a high IQ but a superb EQ as well. A person who follows the proper decorum for of being a Tao who fears God, who respects the elders and obedient to the law. One of my favorite sports is golf. When you play golf, good planning, right judgment, and proactive decisions are needed to shoot a small ball into a tiny hole to win points. Good planning on how to manage and attack the course, right judgment on how to deal with the hazards and obstacles of the sun, water, wind, and trees, and proactive decisions on what golf on what golf clubs use to complete the play. So golf is more mental than physical, contrary to what most people think. The principles of this game can be applied to our lives. To win sports requires a good coach and proper rigid training. To be successful in life, a strong standard of education is the foundation. Saktong buhay sa dekalidad na edukasyon pinanday is our team for this year's culmination. This is very appropriate, as they say, hitting the nail on its head. Our future can be traveled in the right road or it can lead us to good and rightful life if it is established to a strong foundation of high quality education. In behalf of my classmates, we would like to thank our teachers, qualified and competent as you are in showing us the right avenue. Ever patient with our roadie teenage shortcomings. I know it is hard for you to teach us all, and we may have made it harder for you to do it. We just want you to know that you have our utmost gratitude and respect. To our school administrative staff, shifting to a new curriculum based on the standards of Cambridge University was the best decision ever. Thank you for keeping us busy with school and co-curricular activities. If not for the hectic schedule, you would surely find me at home, glued to a chair, remote at hand, playing video games most of the time. I had been to different schools, Ferndale International School and Ateneo de Sambonga University. To my parents, thank you so much for transferring me to this school. Your judgment paid well. Look at me. I am standing in front of you all, delivering this val valedictory address which I never meant dreamt of achieving. Again, 
To all the people I have mentioned, I am not afraid of what my future will be because of what To my dad, who never lays hand, laid hands on me, but who stung with backlash as painfully as with words of wisdom. To my mom, who passed on to us the love of books, who always make us top priority, declaring no clinic if we request for her presence in school. She is religious in reminding us to make our assignments and study, but never pushy. To my sister, who can drive me to read and read, which is to my advantage, to escape from her bouts of nagging, and who always decides for me on what to wear on occasions. To my little brother, who always looked up to me, I pass on the baton to you. You can do it, bro. To my classmates, please forgive me if I may, might have offended you, which is often. I know I am so poor in controlling my emotions. My dad always says that I am like Wolverine in X-Men. Deadly when angry, but meek when unprovoked. I am not proud of it, but I assure you, when we meet again in high school, I hope I will be meeker than a dog, inshallah. An oak seed cannot grow to a mighty oak tree if not planted in a well-fertilized soil. Same with all of us. If we will not seek quality, the calidad na education, we cannot establish the right life equal to a mighty oak tree. I would like to end by sharing with you a quote by the famous father of genetics, Aristotle. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Thank you very much till we meet again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Catherine Y.A. Taburada, High School Valedictorian, for her valedictory address. Here by man, guys. Patong seryoso nyo. Spell naman dyan! Kahit konti lang! So, before I start my speech, let us first give ourselves our warm round of applause. So, to our distinguished guests, the General Director, School Director, Assistant School Directors, our School Principal, Faculty Members, Non-Teaching Personnel, our dearest parents and guardians, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful afternoon to all. Today, I have mixed feelings of delight and sadness. Delighted to see how my fellow graduates are to right now. Some even forgot to iron their togas and some even forgot to brush their teeth. So, <laughs> after the almost interminable, interminable homeworks, quizzes, long tests, research paper, midterm, and final exams, we managed to survive without casualties and brain damage. We have shared a lot of precious memories and moments together, cried on each other's shoulders at, or handkerchiefs, laughed like there's no, there's no tomorrow, and argued on some topics which, like, which comes first, the egg or the chicken? So I think we need to sort that one out later. But there's always this special bond among us that we will always remember and will never break. I also see eyes slowly tearing up, which makes me sad because we need to say our temporary goodbyes. We have grown up together for the past four years and treated each other as siblings, siblings from different parents. But just like most families, siblings must go say goodbye and at an end, uh, sorry for that, at some point to start a new life. Being able to talk to you and share my thoughts is really a great privilege. I work hard and maybe a little bit harder than most of you for some reasons. One of these is because I want to show the school that allowed me to study here, which is FTTS, as a scholar was not a waste. I wanted them to show that I can be a model student and one may not need so much money to so much money to be able to achieve success. 
I remember the saying, we cannot direct the winds, but we can just adjust the sail. Well, unless if you're an airbender. What we will be in the future will depend on what we do with our lives today. We may depend on other people like our parents and our teachers, but at the end of the day, the one who would adjust the sails would be just us. Doing bad things may hurt your loved ones, but they would haunt you even more. Likewise, doing great things and knowing you were, that you work hard for them makes achievement even sweeter because you know that those are your fruits of labor. Getting here was a bumpy ride, but thanks for the lessons, the guidance, the knowledge, and the joy that everyone shared with me combined with the values that I learned to develop, I was able to reach as where I am right now. Don't let the solutions come to you. Go and find it. That's what our parents tell us, tell us whenever we, say, we face such problems. My mom even tells me to look with your eyes, not with your mouth. I experienced this during our science research in physics where our group had this problem on our first uh, research since it just gradually failed. So as we know, uh, even though our plan A failed, there are still 25 letters in the alphabet, isn't it? So we tried to find plan B. We're constrained in so many things such as money and time. Don't give up. That's the mantra that left inside our, inside our heads. Don't give up. After seeking for such impossible projects, we finally found a conventional one. Actually, we never thought that we would grab the best presenter, best output, and best research in our research for our research team, since we doubted ourselves. But at the end of the oral presentation, we sought a solution to our problem and did not just sit down and ask for some sort of divine intervention. At this point, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates to thank the following people who have brought us here today. To our former school director, Mr. Mehmet Chetin, who might not be here because he's now assigned in Manila in our sister school. He gave me the chance to study in tolerant school starting my fourth grade. Without him, I would not be delivering this speech right now. To our school principal, Professor Manira J. Tan, for always believing in my skills and abilities and her words and advice, especially when it concerns about my posture, about standing up properly, and it's always one of the things that we talk about in our, in our office. On behalf of the research groups, we want to give you a big thank you for making our research papers well-written and excellent. Those research outputs for your information will be documentary evidences for evaluation by PAPE. We are so proud to be part of this such production. To our math teacher and also our class advisor, Mr. Muhammad Ijin Ijin, for always being there, well, except today, for such reasons. Whenever we needed advice and guidance. Since my freshman year till this year, my senior year, he had always guided me in my studies and believed that I can achieve more and more things. He also gave me the foundations needed to pass such entrance exams, which enabled me to acquire the full scholarship in De La Salle University. I know most of you are intimidated by math, since Sir Eugene is quite strict with our studies and strict with our assignments. But at the end of the day, he always gives his, his advice on life and college. He tries to motivate motivates us in doing things to, to make our future better. But as soon as he starts teaching math, he makes it, makes it less complicated, like 1,567,869 raised to zero is just equal to one. Simple, right? And next is, to the teacher, I know that I shouldn't be saying this first line, to the teacher who kept on insisting me to mention his name in my valedictorian address for the past few days, our physics teacher, Mr. Sharif Zamir Kaluwang. Na inaamin niyang mas guwapo pa daw siya kay Sir Khan. Who made us laugh? 
whenever we're stressed out during our research uh, time. And who, who, who made physics everyone's favorite subject, right guys? You're lying guys. I know it's your favorite subject. <laughs> so, although he kept on insisting that he hadn't helped me in our... He didn't help me in winning this physics quiz bowl, but in the, fir uh, in the first place, he, didn't, he really did exert his efforts, and I'm giving him his credits that are due for him. So, yung sinasabi niya ang lately na, yung jokes niya na nagpapatawa sa atin, di daw natin yun madadala sa ibang school. Sir, pero sa puso namin at saka sa isip namin, dadalhin namin yun forever. Kahit sinasabi nilang, walang forever. <laughs> In behalf of the physics research team, we would like to thank you so much for losing the bet in who's gonna be the best presenter, best output, and best investigatory project. <laughs> so next, to our class advisor and the best English teachers that we ever had, Ms. Antisar Ibrahim. Ma'am, thank you so much for being our teacher and our advisor. Thank you for bearing and correcting our unconventional behaviors and, su and such things that sometimes activates the super saiyan and extreme dinosaur inside you. So, <laughs> really appreciate all the efforts that you have done for, uh, for our class to make it a best one. English may be a tough stuff, but you make it easy as spelling Ash Babushka. <laughs> To all the teachers who became part of our lives and journey in Tolerance School, our sincere and deepest thanks to all of you. You have not just taught us lectures in your subject areas, but, but also good things that we should always be reminded about life. A good teacher explains, a superior teacher demonstrates, and a great teacher inspires. He have truly inspired and touched our hearts. Ma'am, Sir, maraming salamat po. <laughs> to, our, to my closest friends and batchmates, thank you for making the sacrifices world worthwhile, for making every school day a party, for sharing your lunch with me, for keeping up with my shenanigans, for going out to cinemas and fruit trips, for, go, for being supportive, for caring, and for the love. Guys, let me just say this favorite quote of mine from my favorite TV show. If it's time to go, remember what you're leaving. Remember the best. My best, my friends have always been the best of me. Now, to those who we owe the greatest thanks of all, our dearest and wonderful parents and our siblings, especially to my mom, dad, sister, and brother. Our parents brought us into this world and made, made such sacrifices in order to fulfill our needs. Our dearest parents who became our alarm clocks during our, the school days, when they yell at the top of their, of their lungs and scream, Hoy! Gumising na kayo! Malalate na naman! <laughs> To my parents and siblings who were, who were always there with, for me when I felt like giving up, you always have a way to put a smile on my face and you instill lessons in my head that continuously develop into me into a young, fine young woman. Thank you for supporting me morally and financially, and most of all, thank you for bringing me into this world. Lastly, to the one above all of us, Thank you for all the blessings you have given me and everyone else. My fellow graduates, always remember this famous quote by David Frost. Don't aim for success if you want it. Just do what you love and believe in. It will come naturally. So now we're about to leave the portals of our beloved alma mater. And soon we're going to be signing each other's yearbooks and saying goodbye. There will be hugs and tears. We'll do our best to stay in touch, but we'll be living our lives and doing our best. Thank you so much for listening. Good luck, and once again, congratulations.
in cognizance, in cognizance of the wholesome education, of the, wholesome education the, high the high aims and noble principles that the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School, School has afforded me, has afforded me as, a graduate, as a graduate of this prestigious Institution. I solemnly swear, swear to manifest my loyalty to my alma mater and pledge to use my knowledge and skills to render an honest, noble and fruitful service Mr. Ronald J. Janelle, President of the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School Alumni Association for the induction to the Alumni Association. Okay, so please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I state your name. An alumnus of the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School. Do solemnly swear. That I will support my alma mater by maintaining my loyalty and devotion towards its high aims and noble principles that befit a true child of tolerance that I will use my training for the betterment of my community. In the service of my country, over and above my personal aims, that I will endeavor at all times to bring honor and glory to my alma mater by uplifting myself to higher social and moral levels. That I will uphold the purpose of my alma mater's founding, which is to help bring about enlightenment to every family in our city and country without fear or shame. And that I will impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily, upon myself voluntarily. Without, mental reservation, without mental reservation and purpose of evasion. And purpose of evasion. So, help me God. so help me God. Congratulations and welcome to the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School Alumni Association.
March 15, I would like to express our deepest thanks and gratitude to all who contributed to the successful realization of our plans for the 15th commencement exercise of FTTS. Firstly, we thank so much our commencement speaker for enlightening us on the theme for this momentous occasion. We are proud of you for being our fellow alumnus of FTTS. We thank the school director, the principal, the assistant directors, and non-teaching staff for maintaining high-quality education in this institution. We are proud to be its alumni. Hail to FTTS! To Dr. Dial, thank you for representing the school's division superintendent and for proclaiming us as graduates of class 2015. Of course, we are so grateful to our teachers for their efforts in teaching, guiding, educating, and inculcating in our minds the components of the curriculum in order for us to obtain the first and second levels of education. For us, we will never be forgotten. Likewise, we thank our parents and other members of our families, our relatives and friends for their continuous support, assistance, and sacrifices in providing our needs and having me always behind us in good times and hard times. Personally, I would like to emphasize the important role of my father who is working abroad to provide the needs of our family. He cannot be with us today. I know for a fact that many of my fellow graduates are having their fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, and even their aunties and uncles to support them financially. It's not easy to work in foreign lands, but the OFWs are doing so much sacrifices for their loved ones. They deserve to be praised in this memorable occasion. You all help in making this event successful and memorable. Thank you so much. May Allah bless us all. Can you request the graduates?